Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to fix the This Side Ahead Contains Harmful Programs error in WordPress. Now, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner at WordPress or an expert. Anytime you see an error like this, letting you know that the website you're about to visit could contain harmful programs, it can be scary. It can be scarier when it's your own website. So we need to be able to fix this. Now you might be wondering, how did this happen? Well, it's one of those things where Google has marked it as a bad website, just because there could be something on there. It could be that your website was hacked and there's some sort of virus or Trojan or something going on on the other end, or it could be you had some sort of ad network that had some sort of suspicious code that Google thought that could be dangerous for your visitors. So they let your visitors know that they can go back to safety because your website could be harmful. But again, we need to be able to fix this because this could be detrimental to your blog and to your website. Now, before we get started, it's important to always have a good backup of your website. And this can include your website, your website server, databases, things like that. Now, of course, a backup might seem very technical, but it's actually very simple using a great plugin. If you go to mythemeshop.com, go to plugins, we actually have two plugins that you can choose from. There's the MyWP Backup and the MyWP Backup Pro. Both of these are super simple to use. They make a great backup of your server and if you ever need a backup of your website, you always have one ready. Okay, so first off, we're going to use a simple test to make sure our website really is affected by something. So we're just going to go to the Google Safe Browsing tool, and we're just going to plug in our website to see if our website really is hacked. And so basically, we're going to just add in our URL here, and we're going to click search, and it'll let us know if our website really is unsafe or if it was just a mistake. Now, if our website comes back with the file and whatever's going wrong, then we know what to fix. And then if our website comes back as everything's fine, then it could simply be that it was a mistake, which means that we need to file a report with Google that our website was just simply a mistake and if they could please remove the error. To report this, we're just gonna go to a form and we're gonna report incorrect phishing warning. We're just gonna add our URL Maybe add a comment if you like of what kind of happened or what you saw and then send it. This should take care of the issue for you. But now if you did come up with a program issue where the website really was hacked or there's some sort of issue with your ad content or things like that, obviously you need to be able to fix it. So if it's something on the back end, you might just have to simply go in, remove that plugin, remove that theme, remove something that you added or look for the file that is affected. Once you believe you're absolutely certain that your website is completely fine, now it's time to ask Google to remove the warning. Simply log in to your Google Webmaster Tools and go to Security Issues, and then simply just check the box letting Google know that you have fixed the errors and the warnings that they let you know about. And now Google should recrawl your website and verify that you took care of the problems and now your website should be back to normal. Now, after you have fixed your problem, or luckily if you have never experienced this problem, it's good to always have a recommended security plugin active on your website. Now, we recommend using WordFence. To do this, simply go to your plugins, add new, and then look for WordFence or type in security. WordFence has over 1 million downloads, and there's a reason why. This is an amazing plugin, and it's there to keep your website safe. It'll let you know if there are issues so that you can prevent them from happening so you do not get errors like this. It's definitely worth your time to use a plugin like this so you don't have any issues in the future. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.